Well, hello, health champions, and welcome to the RJF Auburn Community Gym, uh, which we just completed. Um, it's mid March 2022, and I'm at the RJF Auburn High Community Centre in South East London. Um, I want to share with you um, my passion about my passion sports and of course restorative justice and um, why I created RJ4 Sports which is a fitness branch uh, within the RJ4 International Institute which um, I set up 10 years ago. Um, so having done restorative justice uh, for so long and um, reading about it, um, I came to realise that it's only through the implementation, um, not necessarily the kind of face-to-face -face mediation, vulnerable conferencing, the, the, the practices that we know that um, the power of restorative justice um, is really manifested and um, is when we all kind of relax um, and even kind of have a cup of tea and start talking about each other and what hurts us or what we um, think about, you know, the other person or what they do to us, that actually the barriers and, um, you know, the cohesion starts to um, take place. And me being passionate about sports and having been involved in sports since I was a kid, um, I observed while I was doing my own exercise, but also when I was observing other people exercising, that they could actually speak about stuff that they couldn't speak um, in a normal setting, in an office, you know, even you know, home. Um, but yet, when you are together and you're practicing, you're exercising, you are doing all sorts of activities, you forget about issues that you know, might be lingering in your head and you kind of relax and you talk, really get to know about the other person and see them for who they are, compete at the same level and, and, and share the same passion. And that power of sport of bringing people together and seeing, you know, each other as human beings and not what the society sometimes is telling us to see, which is not always true, um, then that creates, brings down the barriers, it creates um, the true community cohesion that I believe in. Um, hence my passion to set up this gym and I'm grateful to those who supported um, the gym to open, um, including um, Southern Council, uh, Decathlon, our new partner, London Sports, the London Marathon Charitable Trust, and many, many other sponsors and donors who supported my crazy idea of introducing sports into restorative justice. At the centre, we're providing all sorts of um, classes, uh, fitness classes, and as I said, the aim is to bring people together, and we tailor those classes to either uh, young people uh, who might be in trouble or they just can't go to the gym, to women who might be faced with all sorts of barriers of ex or to exercise, whether it's cultural barriers or anything that you can think of, um, but also other groups, all the, all the people, and um, you know, anyone who might just find it difficult to access a gym or to access um, fitness exercises. Uh, and in this way, I also think that we can address um, health inequalities in, in one of the most deprived areas of London and southeast, um, in the southeast of the city. Um, thanks for watching this. Um, if you haven't uh, popped in yet and you are local, please come and see us. Um, and um, yeah, looking forward to meeting you and introducing you to 